agriculture was under women's control. This wasn't a patriarchal system because there was no money involved. Controlling agriculture meant controlling the market. Women managed the food supply, which gave them significant influence. Women knew how to store seeds and what could be cooked together. They became the first cookers, not because they were expected to be, but because they harvested the food and knew the herbs and spices. They were also responsible for health, knowing which plants could heal. The markets in Africa are still woman-dominated. This is a reminder of the past when our economy was based on bartering, not money. Women controlled the seeds, the lifeline of the people, which meant they controlled the economy. Men took care of the livestock, and women took care of the crops. It was about job division, not power. Both roles were essential, and neither was seen as less important. In times of drought, it was the rain queens, the virgins, who would go up the mountain and bring the rain. Their role was crucial, linking the spiritual and the environmental, and highlighting the importance of women in both realms. We never had gender power struggles, only gender relations. It was about complementing each other, not competing. This history is important to remember as it shows the power and respect women held in African culture. Share and repost this video.